So we're here to talk about the Doom Wheel. A lot of non-Skaven players' favorite Skaven unit that is not frequently taken. There used to be, once upon a time, an area where you would take two of these bad boys. So Doom Wheels, what about them? Hmm, they're not terrible. They're just not ideal. I pulled up a replay now because we're going to cast the whole replay just because it has a Doom Wheel showing a lot of the things about a Doom Wheel that I like in it. Um, and I can talk over it as it goes. So Doom Wheel is the pros and cons. Uh, it's You really want to think of a Doom Wheel like a Brood Horror mount, uh, but slightly different. It's a little less fast. It's a little less maneuverable. It's kind of janky. It doesn't have regen uh, like the Brood Horrors do. So there are the negatives. The positives, it has more leadership, a shit ton more armor, and it has a ranged attack that it can fire while you're not doing anything. While you're dodging around, it'll just sometimes fire off a ranged attack. So it's, it's just different. But Brood Horrors also aren't ideal right now. Uh, like, Throth the Unclean only has a couple good matchups. Nick and Claw has a couple good matchups. Is, you know, obviously I take him versus Beastman, apparently. Um, and it's when you want your Caster Lord... You, you want a Doom Wheel because you're going to have a Caster Lord, if you have a Doom Wheel. And you just want them to be able to move around the map. You want them to be able to cast spells where you need the spells to be cast, and you don't want your guy to get sniped. So part of the reason I take Ikka Claw on his Doom Wheel versus Beastman, for example, is he can outrun Torox the Brass Bull, and if he gets caught by him, unlike Throt, who is on a Brood Horror that's weak to fire damage, if he gets caught by Torox, he won't get immediately murdered. So it's just to keep my lord alive. Because if you have a Gracier on a Bell, pause that, if you have a Gracie on a bell or something, Torox is just going to right-click on it, and he is going to find it. Nothing on the Skaven roster can stop him except for help at Abomination, which he will also fucking delete. Um, so it's it's just to deny him the ability to assassinate my lord. Now, why Doom Wheels aren't super meta? We've talked about Brood Horrors before, but you might be like, well, okay, but Doom Wheels don't have all the jank Brood Horrors do, so why don't you see them every time? Well, it might be this. It's an anti-infantry unit. It actually has anti-infantry. And we're going to watch this Bray Shaman. So we hit him and didn't do any damage. We knocked him into the air. And then we kind of run him over. Literally run him over and don't do any damage. The Doom Wheels are very slow. Very slow at turning. And uh, it's the laser does a bit of damage, but so far I haven't done very much. And they're very slow at turning, despite the fact that most of their animations will take you over your target. So he gets a little bit of an attack there and it does okay, but the attack animations on the Doom Wheel aren't great. And again, he rolls right over the character and tries to come back. So the problem with them is that they are an anti-infantry unit that's actually kind of bad at killing infantry. Now thankfully for me, that Deathcaster does manage to overcast and fuck himself over. But we are also seeing what I wanted to show you is you can do the chariot push thing that sometimes Volkmar the Grim or Grom the Paunch can do, but Doom Wheels are way less good about um, swinging while you're pushing stuff, right? Like, sometimes Volkmar around the Paunch, when they're pushing someone halfway across the map, they will just constantly swing at them and do tons of damage. Doom Wheels don't do that. So, I'm going to try to chase off his caster, because I think I can kill him quickly. Uh, another little laser beam hits him, but again, I'm just rolling over his corpse. And it's really annoying that he can knock over infantry characters, but then has no real animation to deal with them being knocked over, so you just waste a bunch of time. So the Doom Wheel's going to keep chasing him. Chasing him. Chasing him. Chasing him. Chasing him. I'm gonna go try to spook that Cygor. I'm gonna go back to chasing him. Cygor. Ah, he came back. Chase him. And then he shatters. So you can see, in that whole time, his overcast... His overcast hurt him more than my Doom Wheel ever did. So Doom Wheels aren't... They really aren't there at all. For an attacking purpose. There's no reason to take a Doom Wheel to attack anything. They are ridiculously slow at taking out infantry compared to other chariots. Um, let's do Beastmen again. Beast Lord, I don't give a shit. And then we'll take two Ungor Raider units. And then on this side we'll get Ikka Claw, Doom Wheel. Get rid of all this shit. And then I'll leave the spells because I just won't cast them. And then we'll get Wolf Rats with Poison. Doom Wheels are atrociously slow at 
killing enemy infantry. That's kind of a weird thing to classify them as a chariot, and you think, oh, I can just run through infantry and kill a lot of them. No, they don't. They don't do that. They they do that very, 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 very slowly. So path forward. Throw on the fast forward button. So they're just a lord mount that causes terror and keeps you alive. So they're kind of a weird thing to think about, but they're defensive. Doom wheels are defensive, and also they friendly fire my own fucking wolf rats. But they collide, do a bit of damage, cause some terror, but they really don't do much damage. You can see the wolf rats are already... That unit's dead and gone, and I'm still chasing this guy around. So if you're trying to shock kill something, you want wolf rats. 430 to 3, 306. My caster is safe. He's running around. He's having a good time. Doomails also can get trapped up in mass very easily. Uh, can get trapped up in centigors a lot. So can brood horrors. So you still have to be careful about that. But they're good. They're good for keeping you alive. Now, one of the other reasons you don't see them is because you don't have a plague caster on a doomwheel. The only casters that could take doomwheels are um, ruins casters meaning you'll need a secondary caster for a summon, and that can be a little tricky. And if you're if you're looking at the non-Lord Doom wheels, you definitely want the Wheels of Doom. For only 250 more gold, look at the Missile Strength. That's the big one. Look at that Missile Strength. 79 to 203. That is gigantic. Also 10 more leadership, because a base Doom wheel only has 65 leadership. That's actually really bad. They will route off a lot, uh, while the Wheels of Doom won't. Wheels of Doom have better melee stats, but in general, you mostly want it for the leadership and the missile strength. All right, it's Doom Wheels. <laughs>